we are at the tipping point. The tipping point where the unfortunateness of this series turns even worse. And I, sadly, am here to review that book. Hello, fellow bookquesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I have this unfortunate book. A series of unfortunate events, The Hostel Hospital by Lemony Snicket. Great book for uh for sec first or second or third graders in elementary school. Great book for young readers, maybe a little bit too unfortunate. See what I did there? And if we get right on to it, as usual, it is about Sunny, uh the Bedaladeers who are, you know, from youngest to eldest, Sunny, Claus, and Violet Bedaladeers. And Really, really, they, they've been plagued. And last, in the last book, they had been framed by the evil Count Olaf. And now, in, in the, in the, the, as the rest of the world knows, because of an annoying press woman, woman Count Olaf is dead. And the Bedeladeers are his murderer, which means the Bedeladeers are the bad guys, but they're actually the good guys. And, you know, life is bad, and... Our dear, unfortunately, well, everything is unfortunate about them, orphans. They are are now running from the law, and now this time they run, and, and they run, and they find a hospital, and there they go inside. There they find out that a rare copy of the Snicket files, the only file that could Put Count Olaf and the rest of his troop into prison. Existed inside the archi archival library inside the hospital. Of course, before they could get their hands on it, the whole library burns down. Kinda, you see a pattern there. The the, the Bedeladeer children fire and kill their parents. And the Quagmire fires killed. The uh the Qua the Quagmire one of the Quagmire triplets and their mother and their parents see a pattern there those fires those let's just say Snicket fires it's getting weird isn't it and meanwhile Count Olaf might just be behind it all meanwhile Count Olaf manages to capture Violet and he plans to do a surgery on her a surgery that would most likely kill her. Could the Bedeladeers run away from Count Olaf and just try their best to defeat him? Well, about that, they never get to defeat Count Olaf. Because, you know, the book, it's, it's literally called a series of unfortunate events. And I don't think they will defeat Count Olaf in this book. And, I mean, it was a very unfortunate book. And personally, the plot was actually kind of boring till book seven because you know same pattern they they're adopted by a guy that guy either dies or, or kicks them out or count all off tricks them or something like that and they are adopted again by some other person but at the last time in the village of the fd the village of Fa village of foul devotees well, uh, you know, they, they're running from the law now. They're the bad guys. And, and that really is, like, annoying me. And it's so unfortunate. And nothing, nothing good ever happens to these guys. You know, like Oliver Twist. Except this book has some humor in it. And got great book. Great book for young readers. Uh, great. Uh, I can't say great anymore. It's, like, it's too unfortunate. Read the book. It's a page turner. And like always, your bookquester, the bookquester.